Proposal. Just run all Western news media directly out of CIA headquarters. I think it would be a lot more efficient and straightforward if all English language news media were just run directly out of CIA headquarters by agency officials in Langley, Virginia. This way, news reporters could eliminate the middleman and drop the undignified charade of presenting unproven assertions by Western intelligence agencies as scoops that they picked up from sources. I mean, right now, the mass media are churning out stories about intelligence, which says Vladimir Putin has decided to invade Ukraine very soon, citing government officials and anonymous sources. We are never shown the intelligence, and we are never shown any evidence of its veracity. We're simply told what opaque and unaccountable government agencies want us to believe about a foreign government. We're not even reminded by the publishers of these CIA press releases that Western intelligence agencies have a very extensive history of lying about exactly this sort of thing, and we are certainly not informed that Kiev appears to be ramping up aggressions in eastern Ukraine. I mean, look at this ridiculous tweet by CNN's Natasha Bertrand. Scoop! U.S. and allies have new intel that suggests Russia could be planning to attack Ukraine prior to the end of the Olympics. Contrary to previous assessments, new intel comes out as officials have dramatically ramped up the urgency of public warnings related to Ukraine in the past 24 hours. That's not a scoop. That's just a news media employee repeating something she was told, either directly or indirectly, by the Western intelligence cartel. She's literally just telling us what an immensely powerful spy agency told her to say. And that's become the norm for mass media reporting on all nations the Western Power Alliance doesn't like, especially Russia. So why mess around? Why not just move CNN's office into the George Bush Center for Intelligence in Langley and have the CIA just publish its reports directly from there? I hear CNN needs a new president anyway. That way nobody needs to pretend they're doing news reporting instead of intelligence agency stenography. The general public is clear that they're being fed whatever story about reality the CIA wants them to believe, and nobody feels like they're being treated like a fool. Because it must get pretty tedious, right? Where instead of just having your CIA employer tell you to run a story, you have to go through this whole song and dance where an agency officer contacts you and says, Oh, buddy, have I got a scoop for you? And then you type out whatever they say in newsy-sounding language, citing sources familiar with the matter, and present it as a news story. Clearly, that's not news reporting. Clearly, it's nothing other than garden-variety state propaganda. So why not just be forthright about it? I know the CIA has a lot going on right now, but surely it can make some space in all its domestic surveillance, lying, torturing, drug trafficking, coup staging, warmongering, and assassinations for a little state media propaganda. And of course, we already know the answer to that question. Propaganda doesn't work if its targets know they are being propagandized. It needs to be administered by institutions who the public trusts to tell them the objective truth about what's going on in the world. If the U.S. and its Five Eyes allies simply controlled all media through the government like overtly totalitarian regimes, their propaganda would actually be far less effective than the systems of domestic perception management that have been in place currently. The CIA is officially forbidden from operating in the United States, though as we've seen many times since its creation up to the present day, this is treated more as a guideline than a restriction. But what it is not officially forbidden to do is contact the media directly or through a proxy under the pretense of feeding them a news story which just so happens to advance the interests of the agency. The plutocratic media, who benefit from the same status quo that the CIA protects, then uncritically funnel that information into the minds of the unsuspecting public. And before you know it, they're rending their garments over a government they'd previously not thought much about. In an actual free society, with an actual free press, the very idea of this would be outrageous, and if such a thing ever occurred, it would be immediately condemned as journalistic malpractice with severe consequences for everyone involved. In an overted totalitarian dystopia with the most effectively propagandized population on Earth, it's just treated as normal. <laughs>